welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well in today's video we are going to just be doing some more diy stuff as we know home goods can be a little bit pricey like they can have stuff in there that is way overpriced we're going to be creating some dollar tree home decor inspired by home goods decor so i wanted to add some decor to my entryway so that's where we're going to start off this video on first if you're interested i got this entryway table from walmart and oftentimes um you can find the same furniture on wayfair on walmart for you know $30 cheaper or like a, a good discount. So make sure you check out Walmart for their home decor. I found this entry table and I spray painted the top part. It was grayish wood color. I just spray painted it black and let that dry. And it was a breeze to put together. Very modern and I believe this table was only like $70. And I also found this natural wood colored mirror, circle mirror as well to put right above the entryway table because that's like the most common way to decorate your entryway table you have the table and then you have the mirror up top and then I wanted to get some decor to go on you know to decorate it and to make it look cute so what I found at home goods was this pillar candle holder this was so cute and honestly I would have bought it but I was like let me just DIY it because it was $40 so I was like I'm gonna buy this one thing for $40 when I can go to the Dollar Tree and get something for maybe like two or three dollars and do this myself i went to dollar tree and i found a glass jar and then i also took the lid from um, a plastic container and i painted that black but to paint it black i mixed together some black acrylic paint that i got from the dollar tree with some cornstarch and this made the color more like a matte black and also when you paint it on it's gonna add a texture to the vase so that way it doesn't just look like plain glass you can do this or you can just get some matte black or black spray paint and spray paint it black but i just wanted to see how this technique would work out adding some texture to it once it dried i went ahead and hot glued the top of the plastic container to the vase and it created a pillar candle holder to me if you compare that to forty dollars for kind of the same type of look i think that it's worth it next keeping on the topic of candles candles at home goods as we know can be very very pricey so i found um these candles that i really liked but they were like $15 each. I was like, maybe I could do like a quick DIY from the Dollar Tree. I got this glass jar that comes with the lid on it. Spray painted that glass jar black and also painted the top of the glass jar gold. This created an illusion because you don't know what's inside of it now that you painted it black. People can just assume that it's a candle in there. Next, to put a label on top, I already had some labels at home. They don't particularly say candle on the label, but honestly, who is reading your candle label? Even in your own house, if you just look at your candles, you ain't reading the label on it. So I highly doubt that anyone is even gonna pay attention to that. If you are really particular about that, there are some Etsy vendors that you can use to make custom labels. And I think like one label could be like $4 and they'll ship it right to you or print out some labels if you have a printer at home and just print it on the little sticky sheets and put it on the candle as well but that's if you're particular i'm not really particular about that so i just use some labels that i already had it kind of fools someone to think that it's a candle if they're not really paying attention and to me it's worth it um to save like basically ten dollars um on a candle that i'm not even gonna burn i'm just gonna use for aesthetic before we continue on with this video i just want to remind you guys to give this video a thumbs up it really helps out my videos it lets the youtube algorithm know that you guys are enjoying it also don't forget to subscribe i want you guys to see my videos pop up and let's go ahead and continue on with this video so home goods had tons of different 
bowls and such that you can use to store you know change or just you want to put your keys in there or just a bowl that you want to put on your entryway table i wanted one of those and i found this seasonal item from the dollar tree it was like a i think it was either santa claus or a snowman and i said hmm, this could be a cute little entryway bowl so the first thing i did was spray paint it um this slate gray and then once it dried i took some tool and i started started to make a circle by rolling it and then I super glued it onto the bowl making a circle pattern all the way until I covered the bottom surface now you could cover the whole thing in tool but I kept getting super glue on my hands and that is not a good feeling so this project was a little bit more tedious but it came out super cute and it was only two dollars so highly recommend this I'm just gonna put this on my entryway table to store my remote for the fireplace it's functional and it works really well and it looks nice the next dollar tree item inspired by home good items we have this key holder for our entryway basically I took this um, it was supposed to be like two shelves that you can hang up and you go with a plant on there or something I took this and I glued some command hooks placed them evenly on the wood I went ahead and I spray painted it gold just to add some more color to it and make it look cohesive I took the yarn that came with it I put that through the hole that it was supposed to go through and I started to intertwine the yarn in a piece of chain that I also got from the Dollar Tree this was one that I had a while ago it was supposed to be like for a plant pot holder and then I went back around with the chain and wrapped it around again just to, to add more character and more style to the key holder and this cost about three dollars to do this whole thing which is really really inexpensive and it's super cute super convenient to hold your keys I hung these up on the wall with some tacks and hung my keys right on it so now I won't be losing my keys anymore because they'll just be right there and then I just went on to decorate the space with a few other items that were not from the Dollar Tree um, just some decor pieces that I already had all these were very inexpensive and super cute I either got them from Walmart or somewhere else or someone gifted it to me you could get a lot of inspiration from home goods and just DIY them to make it cheaper and more affordable but still cute and aesthetic I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know of other videos you would like to see from me and also um, your thoughts about this video don't forget to subscribe hit that bell notification button so that way you'll be notified every time that I post a new video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye